What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're gonna create some liquid text, some liquid watery wavy text which we can use at the beginning of our videos or to promote something or you can you can use it how you want and you can easily change the placement of it if you want to do that as well because everything is done inside of color and effects so if you want to change the placement of it you can simply go over to frame and fit and then just place it where you want it to be and that's the end of it and it will look awesome and we're also going to include some free templates which will will come back whoa, which we will come back to later in this video as well so make sure to stay tuned to find out how you can download the free templates of the liquid texts now the liquid text we're going to create in this tutorial or the liquid text we're going to create in this tutorial looks like this now before we move over to the iPad, make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, that notification bell which is down there and also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy my content. And I also want to say that all the presets of the or the templates, the liquid text templates and the Instagram stories has been added to the masterclass course students. So if you are a part of the uh, masterclass course make sure to head over to robertsgavelogs.com and check out the presets also on patreon if you're still on patreon now with that said let's head over to the ipad So the first thing we need to do once we get over to LumaFusion is to create a new project. I've already created a new project here and this is 23.98 FPS. However, you can choose the amount of frames per second you want for this type of effect. The higher frame rate, the smoother sort of the effect is going to be. But since I film in 23.98 FPS with my Sony a7 III, I like to have everything uh, with uh, that type of frame rate of 23.98 so once I import that over to the main project that I'm working on I will not have any glitches when it comes to uh, the uh, animation of the effect so that's basically the reason why I always make my effects in 23.98 fps now with that said, let's move over to the animation we're going to create in this video. Now the first thing I've done is to go over to settings and change the title here to 4 seconds. So once I tap on the circle with the plus inside, I can simply choose main or overlay title and then I will have a 4 second duration clip here or text layer. Now the animation we're going to create is fairly simple and you basically need only one text layer. Now at the beginning here we have four different templates which you can download for free. I will come back to that later in this video so make sure to stick around to find out how you can download these for free. Now let's move over to the text layer here. Now the first thing we're going to do is to go into edit on this text layer. So we're going to double tap on the text layer and get into edit. Now we can move straight over to color and effects here because there's only one effect that we need to add. Then we're going to go over to the pick whip tool which you can see on top here and we're going to go down until we find let's see which one can we use we can use small pinch here now as you can see the small pinch is basically pinching in where the blue circle is so if you want to pinch in at the end of the text you drag it to the end of the text if you want to pinch in at the beginning you drag it to the beginning now here you can basically get an idea of how this liquid text is created now, as you can see, it looks a lot more liquid-ish as we uh, move the uh, blue circle uh, around in a circle here. And this is basically the animation we're going to create in today's tutorial. So the first thing we're going to start with is to leave this at one place. And you can decide for yourself how large you want the uh, wave or liquid animation to be. And you change that by adding more or less radius. Now we're going to keep the radius here at around 200 and we're going to leave the knob here at the bottom. Then we're going to move to the beginning here and make a keyframe. Now keep in mind the smaller gaps you have between each placement of the blue circle here, the smoother your animation is going to be. Now let's move to the bottom here again 
and we have already created our first keyframe. And for this one, we're going to go three frames forward in time. So one, two, three. Then we're going to move the uh, blue circle here just a tiny bit to the left. You can also go the other way around if you want to do that. And then one, two, three again. And we're going to move this a tiny bit more. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And so on. I'm going to just let this uh, this play here so you can follow along on the on the process here. So now that we've finished the animation here, let's move out to the timeline and take a look at our liquid text. Now, if you want this to go faster as well, you can simply copy the keyframes here. And let's say we're going to use this one again. Let's um, shrink it down to two seconds. And on this one, simply paste the keyframes. Now let's do a playback of that. You can see it's going a little bit faster, but since this is now made in uh, 23.98 frames, the faster you go after the keyframes that you originally made, the more jittery and rough the animation is gonna look. So if you copy this or duplicate this layer here and place that at the end here, and extend it to, let's say, around 10 seconds ish, and then paste the keyframes, your animation should look fairly smooth. As you can see here, we have a smoother animation now because we extended the duration of the text layer instead of slowing it or instead of speeding it up. So you can look at it like this. This first one you are creating is the base of the animation. And you don't want to speed this up more than you have created here. You can slow it down by adding a longer text layer like we just did. But if you speed it up by adding a shorter text layer, you will have more jitter in your text animation. So again, the first animation that you create is the baseline of the animation. And you want to have this as smooth as possible. You can also extend this and going a little bit faster between each uh, each placement here of the uh, blue circle. So the animation is going a little bit faster as well. And then you can uh, extend a clip like we just did here, which is now 10 seconds. And once you copy and paste the keyframes to this clip, you will have a fairly smooth liquid text going uh, a lot slower than the previous one that you had. So don't speed up, but you can slow down. Now, like I said in the tutorial as well, you can download these for free. The first 50 people to put their Instagram name down in the comment section, follow me on Instagram and then message Liquid. That's the only thing you have to do. Comment your Instagram name down in the comment section below here on YouTube. Head over to Instagram, follow me and then message me and type the word Liquid. That's the only thing that you have to do. Once you've done that, if you're one of the first 50 people to do that, you will receive a direct download link to the liquid text templates. Now with that said, I really hope that you enjoyed this video as well. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss any future videos. Notification bell if you wanna be a part of the crazy notification squad, which is, um, yeah, it's like it's they're so fast. I, I don't think anyone 
can beat Baltic Boy. I don't think anyone can beat him. Drew have... No, I don't think... Maybe. Maybe Drew can beat him, but I don't think anyone can beat Baltic Boy. So hit that bell to see if you can be the one beating Baltic Boy in uh, in the first uh, comment of the... It doesn't make sense, does it? It doesn't make sense. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.